Let me tell y'all something, man. Um, I'm sitting here kind of blushing right now because this is my girlfriend slash was supposed to be wifey. Yes. But she didn't wait for me. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. And my wife, Crystal, she loves you to death. That's a wonderful thing because we have like a communal type relationship. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's all about DreamJobFreedom.com, y'all, and uh, I just want you to share just some quick tips of, of, of um, you know, motivating and inspiring people to how to go after and get the dream job or goals that they've always wanted to get because they've been afraid to fail and they probably haven't got started or they just don't know how to get started. And we specifically have one um, member who's a comedian. She's an aspiring comedian. And uh, so this one right here is for you, all right? She, she's very funny has a lot of talent, and I really think that she can really blow up, but she's afraid of failure. She's afraid of going to the improv and doing um, a, a quick set because she's afraid nobody may not laugh at her jokes or whatever. So let's start there. What, what kind of inspiration and advice can you give her specifically? Well, to my sister out there, first of all, my name is Lunell, and it's a pleasure to speak with you right now. Um, I know, well, I don't know what you're feeling because I've just never been fearless. I started off in church choir, went to theater and all that type of stuff. He was telling me that you have a day job. And while I I, I, I know that you um, want to hang on to that, and you should, I don't suggest that anybody quit their day job to do stand-up. But if you ever get fired or laid off, and you probably will at some point, that's when you go in and you go hard and try not to go back to work. Because you, you can make a, a career out of this, but you have to put as much energy into working for yourself as you put into working for somebody else. If you work five days a week for somebody else, work seven days a week for yourself. If you're on time, you get up and get dressed to go to your other job, be on time and get dressed and go out and go see comedy. Go to a club every night. Don't try to get on stage every night. Go sit and observe and watch and soak in some of the ambiance. See what people are doing right, see what people are doing wrong. Talk to the comedians after. Make friends. Take numbers. Get emails. Um, tweet people. They will tweet back sometime. Be consistent and persistent. And, um, you know, fear is uh, part of the game. And you can make that energy work for you. Um, it's, a, it's a hard, thick skin road that you're trying to go down. And it's not easy. It's definitely not easy for females. I don't know if you're married or you have children but, you know, you're going to have to decide, is this a hobby or something you want to do for your life? Because there is a difference. Doing comedy just for being a hobby is one thing. Doing comedy as your job is another thing. And you shouldn't get in it to blow up. The only reason that I feel you should do comedy is if you think that you would die if you don't do it. Boom. That's it right there. You can stop right there, Lou Nail. There it is. I think I done fell in love with you all. Oh, right baby. There. I, mean, I, I can't blame you. What? I can't blame you. What? <laughs> Lorena, that was for you right there, man. You know, fulfill them dreams. If that's something that's in your heart, like you said, go for it. Go, go all the way it. in. Double yeah. time it. Lou Nail, I appreciate you, girl. Appreciate y'all. Thank you, baby. Mm. Mm. No. <laughs> <laughs>